Reading this question, we can call the number of 10 cent coins D for dimes, and the number of 50 cent coins H for half dollars. Then, the total number of coins that Pat has is D plus H. The total value of currency Pat has is 0.1D plus 0.5H in dollars. And we're also told that H is greater than 5. We need to find the number of coins, which is D plus H. That could come in the form of solving for D and H individually, or otherwise, in algebra that fortuitously yields the exact expression D plus H. Let's examine the data statements separately first. Statement 1 tells us that D is less than 10. This information alone is fairly worthless to our aim, because, analyzing by cases, we can see that H could still be anything from 10 to 10 trillion. In these cases, the total number of coins she has, the answer to the question, varies. Therefore, we can't answer definitively, and statement one is insufficient. Statement two is more promising. It indicates that 0.1D plus 0.5H equals 4.7, or switching from dollars to cents, 10D plus 50H equals 470. Here, the fact that h is greater than 5 may play a role. Analyzing by cases, we see if h equals 6, for example, then $3 comes from the half dollars and the rest from dimes. But the data permit the case also that, say, h equals 9. And in that case, 450 comes from the half dollars, with only two dimes filling the gap. And in that case, we have a much smaller total number of coins. In these two valid cases, we get different answers to the question, so we have insufficient information from this statement to answer the question definitively. We must now combine the statements. Often, when you combine statements in data sufficiency and you have done analysis by cases in either or both of the statements, some of the cases that were allowed in one statement are not allowed jointly. That's precisely what happens here. When we were looking at statement 2, we had a case in which h equals 6. But that's not allowed when we combine statements, because that would lead to way more dimes than 10, as statement 1 says. If the total is 470 and the total number of dimes is fewer than 10, then dimes are contributing less than $1, and half dollars must contribute at least 370 but half dollars come in multiples of 50 cents. That would appear to leave two possibilities. The half dollars add up to $4, or they add up to 450. Both cases are still allowed, and they lead to a different total number of coins. So we still don't have sufficient information to answer the question definitively. Therefore, the correct answer is E.